With SMS, it is possible to save your models so that they can be viewed in Google Earth. In this video, we will demonstrate how to export raster data and vector data to Google Earth, and how to export animations to Google Earth. You can save any georeference data from SMS into a format recognized by Google Earth. To view the exported files, you must have Google Earth installed on your computer. We will start by loading data that has been previously geo-referenced. When we export a file to Google Earth, whatever options we have turned on in SMS will be shown in Google Earth, similar to a screenshot. We will change our display settings to turn off the mesh boundary and node strings. We will also toggle off the map data since we don't want to view it in our exported file. If we frame the data, we will be able to view exactly what we'll see when we export it to Google Earth. In order to export the data, we must also be in plan view, so we will check to make sure we are now. In order to save the data to a Google Earth file, the file must be set in global projection. We will change the horizontal coordinates to global projection and set the projection to geographic. We will also change the vertical units to meters. We are now ready to save a Google Earth file. Files can be saved as raster files and vector files. We will try both to demonstrate the advantage of each. In the Save As dialog, we will change the file type to Google Earth Raster KMZ file. We will name it and save the file. The files save rather quickly, which is one of the advantages of raster compared to vector. To open the file in Google Earth, we simply have to double click on the file. When Google Earth opens, it should automatically zoom to your data. We can now use the different Google Earth options to view our data. If we zoom in closer to our mesh, we see that it's quite pixelated. This is one of the disadvantages of saving the data as raster. Now we will save our data as a vector file. In the File Save As menu, we set the file type as Google Earth Vector KMZ file. Once we save the file, we open it by simply double clicking on the file, and again, Google Earth will automatically zoom to our data. If we now zoom in on our mesh, we can see that it is much more crisp and clear compared to the raster data. We can also save other display options to Google Earth files. We will now set our display options to show color fill contours. When using the color fill option to export contours, the file must be saved as a Google Earth raster file. Once we save the file, we can open it in Google Earth and view the contours. With SMS, we can also export a transient data animation. First, we will change our display options to make it easier to view the animation in Google Earth. To export the animation, we open the Film Loop Wizard. 
In the wizard, we check the option to create Google Earth KMZ file. By default, the coordinated universal time is selected. Once we click finish, the animation will be saved and automatically opened in Google Earth.